Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these real, real good entree bowls. This one is grain free. Nine, I think most of them are. Uh, nine grams of net carbs and 19 grams of protein. This one is the creamy mashed cauliflower and braised beef. So it's mashed cauliflower with braised beef and creamy cheddar cheese sauce. Sounds good. Um, we bought these at Meyer. They were $4.99, a little on the high side for a meal, but um, not, still not ridiculously expensive. Um, nine ounces or 255 gram for the meal. Of course, it's frozen, certified gluten free. It is 350 calories with the whole bowl, and that's some tiny writing right there. Let me get closer. There you go. Pretty decent numbers on everything. So to cook these, there's uh, there's the information for you if you want to know. So to cook these, we're going to uh, ventilate or poke holes in the film, microwave and high for three to four minutes. I'll probably just do it in the middle and do three and a half. Remove cover, stir, and cook for an additional two minutes. So remove the cover completely. Cook for two minutes, let's sit for one to two minutes in the microwave. Be careful, it's gonna be hot. Blah, 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 okay. There it is, pretty decent amount of uh, beef in there. It's, a, it's in a plastic bag, so it's not sealed on top or glued in place, it's just a bag. So I'm gonna poke some holes in here. Um, it looks like some shredded like roast. That's what it looks like. If you made a roast and you shredded pieces all of it, that's what it looks like. If you were to put that all together, it'd probably be a piece of roast, but that big. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get this in the microwave after I poke some holes in here, I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. It's very soupy. It was more soupy before I cooked it the second time, but it's still a little soupy. Um, I can also, it's kind of stinky too, just to let you know. Um, so if you're in an office, uh, they're gonna love you for this one. <laughs> they're gonna love you all day long for you stinking up the whole place. So anyway, I'm gonna let this cool off and uh, I'll be back. Wait, right, I didn't let it cool off a super long period of time because I didn't want it to get cold, but here's the bite I'm gonna take. There's plenty of meat in there. Once you stir it up, there's, there's meat all through it. Um, and then I got some of the cauliflower, of course. So here we go. And of course the cheese is all through there too. The meat is just like I said, it has the texture of roast, like you made a roast and cut a piece off and kind of like shredded it apart. Um, the flavor even is like the roast. So really you taste more of that roast meat, the meaty flavor than you do anything. Um, cheddar cheese, I'm trying to see if I can taste the cheddar cheese and I really don't get it. I'm gonna take a bigger bite of uh, just the cauliflower, I'll leave the meat on the fork. It has the texture of uh, really finely ground up cauliflower. It doesn't really, it's still got a little bit of a crunchy bits to it, but the bits are so tiny that it really doesn't, you can't hardly tell. Um, I still get the taste of the, like the cheese. It's mostly cauliflower. Did I say broccoli while ago? If I did, I said I meant cauliflower. Um, it's very, very finely ground, so you don't get the crunch a lot. The teen tiny little pieces of crunch, which is fine. Um, the cheese, you really don't taste at all. I wish it did have more of a cheese flavor. Um, I think I'd like it better if it had more of a cheese flavor. I do like it when you get a bite of the meat and the cauliflower together. Because the meat helps, the, the braised beef helps balance that cauliflower flavor, so it goes okay together. But um, by itself, I would not normally just eat cauliflower, whether it's uh, mashed or whatever. Now, I know years ago when I was doing, uh, we did keto like over 100 years ago. Um, one of the things people kept saying is, if you can't have mashed potatoes, because you weren't allowed mashed potatoes because of the carbs. If you like mashed potatoes, eat cauliflower, mashed cauliflower. It tastes just like mashed potatoes. Guess what? It doesn't taste just like mashed potatoes. They were, they were crazy. Maybe if you put a bunch of stuff in it, it might. I don't know. They didn't have the texture of mashed potatoes. So anyway, I think this is an okay meal. It's, it's not horrible. It's definitely not like disgusting. Um, but it's not something I would necessarily get again. I, I'm not that big of a fan of cauliflower. I like cauliflower, but it's not something I would just like go out and eat a lot of. Um, so I'm going to give this a three out of five. It's it's okay. It's, it's not great. It's not bad. It's just in the middle. Um, if you don't necessarily like cooked cauliflower though, don't get this. I mean, why would you be getting this if you don't like cooked cauliflower, right? Um, but 
yeah, it's just, it's, it's okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching.